see photo video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly deform an image. And in particular, I want to deform this background and not this face and body. Now, I'm just going to use the filter deform. And let's just go up there, filter and distort and deform. Now, there's probably hundreds of other ways to do it. This is just one approach. So, now, what I'm going to do, move it up there a bit. And I'm going to go for similarity. Just seems to work slightly better. I don't know. Obviously, choice. Now, I'm going to add pins quickly around this face. I'm just going to add a fair number of pins so you can just sort of like freeze the. I don't have to be totally exact. I don't want it to just move too much now. Just going to add it around there and there. And you can see I'm just going to go around. Unfortunately, I can't uh, pause the video, so uh, I'm just going to quickly show them adding all the way around. So. Once I've done that, okay, so quite a few more, and then now what I want to do also, because unfortunately, one of the things with this deform is it pulls out the actual from the edge as well. So you can just go around and quickly do much the same very loosely around the edge. So uh, you can obviously have them closer as far away as you want, depending on the you can always correct it as you go as well. You can push it back if you find that you've gone too far and it's pulled the thing. So I'm just going to finish there. And once you've done that, then you can go to the actual image itself. Now, next thing to do, what I want to do is I'm going to drag this lovely bit of sunset or sunrise just out from there. And I just want to say click there and I can then drag that and you get this lovely sort of fireball effect sort of like as if the sun sort of, sort of flames fireballs coming out of the sun and you can just have that just as a, as a background and again this and now you notice that what's happening is you're actually not touching this, this woman's face I mean you might get the slightest distortion it's not perfect and you can say drag those out Drag that out a bit more. And you can always go back if you wish. You don't want to. Right. Drag that out. And then, of course, you can continue there. You can actually go, oh, I'll just add some more there. You can drag that out. And that can then go out from that central bit there. More fireballs coming down to there. And of course you don't have to do it like that. You can actually just turn around and say, oh well actually I want to distort the, the central bit. So you can actually have distortions there as well. And again, have it go off that direction or that direction. Just as many as you wish, depending on the effect you want to achieve. If you want to achieve a very surreal, sort of unusual background. Now, another feature that's pretty that's not actually available would be ability to save the actual pins. Would be a nice little feature there just to save the pins so you don't have to recreate them next time you go into the thing. Because you could, of course, go back once you've applied it and then go back. Can you see, of course, I've put it there. You've got a slight ripple into the hair, but not excessive. It's not particularly bad. But you've got this lovely sort of surreal background now of sort of coming away from the sun. And you can, of course, go back into the image, use deform, or maybe one of the other tools as well. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.